My name is uh, Jim Bird. I'm a science librarian here at Fogler Library, and I was just appointed director of the Arno Bonk Boardwalk uh, about three weeks ago. The boardwalk is a 4,200-foot uh, long hemlock-made boardwalk. It's uh, it's in the Bangor City Forest, part of the Bangor City Forest. That's the entrance to it, and uh, it's open every day of the year, starting May 1st and through the end of November or the first snow saw an email asking for volunteers to help build it and I they had already started and I went out I believe in September and worked the rest of the year and then uh, worked the next year to get it up and we uh, opened up in June of 2003 so it took about eight months for it to open there were probably a hundred volunteers the head of it then was Dr. Ron Davis who was a professor on campus and I had known him through helping him at the out in science reference and I saw he was the leader of it so I thought it would be good to just to uh, you know see what it was about and you know volunteer a day to go out there and see and it turned out I really really liked it and learned a lot and so I kept on going back on every weekend yeah I helped build the board I helped build the boardwalk basically I helped lay a number of sections and helped build some of the wheelchair turnouts and built some of the 509 sections learning things about nail guns and just you know how to put how to put it together and didn't know anything about peat bogs before or bogs and uh, you know learned a lot as we were building it. The I mean sort of scientific sort of things I never realized that there were orchids in the area and I think there's 27 different species of orchid. It's out to about, about 800 feet and then it splits into a Y then it's sort of a great circle and so that's basic, basically uh, people were building one you know one part of the circle and another part of the circle and we finally met out in the lawn area of the boardwalk and so basically you would you know prepare a space in the in the ground and then somebody would bring out a section <coughs> on a specially made cart and then you'd lay that down and while that you were laying that down another section would be coming out and so it was basically you stood on that one and laid the next one and kept on going it's the idea of you know some place a mile and a half from the Bangor Mall where there's thousands and thousands of people in cars on the weekends and then you can drive a mile and a half and get to a place where the only thing you can see from the only man-made structure you really can see from the bog walk except the bog walk is I think there's one cell tower and that's about it when you get out there so it's sort of hard to believe that you know you can hear this traffic when you're out there but you know people drive by 50 miles an hour on Stillwater Avenue and I don't think they realize that you know, there's orchids and skunk cabbage and all sorts of flowers and plants and carnivorous plants. I mean, there's three species of, four species of carnivorous plant out there. And, you know, that's just something that I hadn't realized before. And I, I think I'd only been in a bog once up in Alaska one time, and you know, I was just walking through it to go to a project. You know, didn't realize that, you know, when you step down into a bog that, you know, your footprint's there for years and years, maybe decades, that you've maybe destroyed something. And so... That's why it's uh, pretty special. I mean, I go out there a, a lot and just work uh, by myself. I was, up until I got direct, I was became the director, I was the uh, co-head of maintenance. So I was, you know, in the past I've been out there every weekend, you know, fixing things and doing things. I was out there one weekend and a bear ran right in front of me right before we got to get to the cabin. So I didn't realize there were bears that close to, uh, you know, I mean, I knew there were bears around, but I'd never thought about, you know, seeing a bear. So that was kind of neat. For me, it's when I, I've, I've walked it hundreds of times and I typically don't sort of walk it to, to look out at things. I typically have my eyes down and looking for nails that are out or a board that's split. And so I, most of my walking is sort of thinking about the boardwalk and if there's a part that, you know, needs to be fixed. However, I do take my wife and daughter out there sometimes and we do, you know, walk around and 
It's great during bird migration and it's just nice to sort of get away in the quiet. Although there's 30, 30,000 plus visitors last year, so sometimes when you go out there on a Saturday at 11 o'clock, you might have 20 or 30 people. So, you know, it's sort of, um, you know, like a busy sidewalk sometimes. I mean, you've got sometimes on the weekend, the parking lot's completely full and it's, you know, they, it's just, you know, you might have 200 or more visitors in a day. But we've had, I can't remember how many, 30 to 40 states represented and represented. And, 20 to 30 foreign countries represented. A lot of times people will, you know, if they're bringing, having guests visit, I mean, this is one of the places where, you know, if they need to take the guests somewhere, they come to the boardwalk. And so a lot of faculty will take you know, faculty visitors out to the boardwalk. So it's, it's, a, it's becoming a destination rather than a place you just sort of go into the mall and you see a sign and you go to it, that still happens. But now it's instead of, you know, going to the mall, let's go to the mall, let's, let's just go to the boardwalk so it's a destination place now. Family time, a place to go that is close to Bangor and the mall, but it's a place where, you know, a, a family can go and be together. It's also a special place for nature watching and nature photography, and uh, particularly bird watching and plant watching. It's, uh, I think it's really good. Uh, some people go out there every week uh, for exercise, and that part Boardwalk, the walk is a little less than a mile, and it's part of their exercise regime. A number of older people come out and they, you know, walk it. That's part of their weekly walk, and so they get that in. And I guess solitude and quiet. It's you know, if you go out there certain times, you might be the only person out there, and so that's a that's a really good good feeling. You know, very little trash out there. People seem to respect it. Everybody, I think, is sort of schooled in the thought of you know sort of picking up, and so out there and if we see a cigarette butt or something we'll you know pick it up and visiting I mean visitors go out there say if they come May 1st but if they come June 1st they're gonna see different things that are out and so it's a place where you can even if well, I've already been to the boardwalk I don't need to go but you know it's it changes every two three four weeks I mean now the skunk cabbage is coming out and in three or four weeks there'll be something else in three or four weeks something else and, you know, to come in July for this flower and August for this flower. So there's, you know, it's not a, it's, even though it's a nice walk and everything, there's uh, really nice nature things to see. And, you know, if you wait three weeks and come out again, there'll be something else up that you haven't seen before.